it's a gorgeous day here in Texas and I am on my way to go run some errands get some in, and I'm also gonna go do a couple fun things so I need to get some groceries and then I'm gonna go to a couple places for that and then I'm gonna go uh, to a little thrift shop I gotta drop off some stuff that Chris doesn't want anymore he went through his closet and so we have two bags that we need to get rid of and then I'll probably look around there because I really really like this place <laughs> so uh, let's see what else I'm gonna do there is a new little antique um, shop in town a few or a year or so ago a year and a half or so ago we had a tornado come through um, Bowie and tear up some of our places and it tore up our little antique mall well they just opened it and so I think I might just run through there and just see what it's like and um, so I just thought I'd talk to y'all for a little while let y'all know what's been going on around here really just working on Christopher's house and getting the car the garden going and really nothing else besides that taking uh taking on mama and nanny as y'all know nanny's on hospice i went down there last night and sat with her for a little while it's really sad uh she's just her dementia is getting worse and uh, it's really hard on mom to watch that and still try to recover from what she's you know gone through but um, ultimately God's in control and that's how we how we know that we can make it because he doesn't put on us too much that we can't bear it he'll give us the strength to to go on but um, I'm so glad it's pretty outside <laughs> I'm gonna stop here at our little post office and get our get our mail. We have a tiny our little town of Sunset. We have let me turn you around. We have this is kind of the main drag of the town. We live outskirts of town in property, but we don't have much. We have a um, gas station, and then we have our post office. And then we have our fire department, and that's really all the, oh, this little cafe on the edge of the, you know, the end building there where all those cars are. But other than that, we don't really have anything else. But this is our little post office, Sunset Post Office. And if you look over here, the other end of the four-way stop, there's the fire department. But I'm going to go in here and get our mail and see if we got anything. did and we got a package oh, I wonder what that is I am uh, I am waiting for something from Amazon maybe it came today ah uh, it did all right let's go in the car and see what it is Okay, we're back in the car. And let's see, this is something I ordered for the wedding for the groom's table. I hope it looks as good in person as it did in the, the deal. So we're gonna do his groom's table in um, hunting and just outdoor stuff. And these look really good. They are, it's confetti and it's in the shape of deer heads and horns and all that kind of stuff so there's supposed to be 80 people 80 of them here that was like six dollars if i can remember right and then this right here 
Oh, look at that. That turned out cute. That's actually better than I thought on the reviews. This is a little something that we're just going to put on the, um, we're having, so I'm doing a chocolate fountain, fountain and we're going to do like four or five dozen cupcakes and we're doing fried pies and then we're doing a small cake. So this is going to go on the small cake. Isn't that cute? And then this here is going to be the cupcake toppers. Oh my, these are going to be awesome. Okay, so they're horns. Look at that. And they're all different shapes. And these are going to be cupcake toppers. Oh, I love them. I think there's 40 of these. And we're going to do several dozen of cupcakes. So that is going to be great. I was wondering if I needed to, to do some kind of food safe paint on those, but I think I'm just going to leave them just like that because it's going to give it that rustic look. And then Christopher had found uh, when we were um, at Yellowstone, we had found an elk horn. And so we brought it home. We're going to use that in the, as the decoration. And then I'm going to get some pallets and Oh, it's, we're going to use a some couple of spools like, like electric companies have that they have on their electric, um, you know, you've seen them. People use them for picnic tables or whatever. We're going to use a couple of those. So I'm real excited about how it's going to turn out. I've got all kinds of stuff. My papa's a lunchbox and then his, my dad, uh, my, uh, uh, Chris's papa's old thermos. It's just going to look really, really good. So I'm excited about it. I got some awesome friends helping me with it too. Okay, so now let's head to Bowie. So here's a little mall. We're going to go in and check out and see if it's as good as it used to be. You know, I absolutely love this table. Wouldn't that go good in my house? It's called Barley Twist. And I've got the Barley Twist uh, buffet in my living room. We're definitely in my happy place. I'm so glad that they opened back up. Look at all of these treasures. Oh my, look at this. And look at this old corn bread pan. <laughs> I'm so excited. And look here, you can even sit and have a free cup of coffee. Okay, now we're gonna go into our little, my favorite little thrift store here. I find stuff for a dime, dollar, like all those throw pillows are a dollar. I found some really good throw pillows one time. And I'm gonna drop off my stuff here and look around. And in here, you never know what you're gonna find. You might find a great piece or you may just find a bunch of junk. <laughs> but it's fun to dig, or at least I think it is. Maybe I'll find a treasure for a little of nothing. Well, I didn't find anything in the little store. They have changed hands, and now everything seems to be real expensive, or more than I want to pay. Like, they have for example, they had a roaster in there. It was new and in the box and everything, but it was $50. I'm not going to do that. No telling how it's been thrown around and everything. I'd rather get it from somewhere. But if it don't work, I can go get a refund. And then they had, like, um, packages of socks, new. They were new, but they wanted $8. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do that. And so that was just a couple of examples and they had some other stuff that was just priced way too much. I'm so. now at Tractor Supply and I'm going to go in there and see if they've got some dormant oil for our peach and um, plum trees to spray them and get them out of dormant, whatever the hell that works. But anyway, I was told we needed it, so I'm going to go get it. 
Okay, I got my dormant oil. I hope it's the right thing. Um, it's this stuff right here. And I was told to put that on my trees. So we'll see. It's concentrated. It was about, I think it was $11. So now we're gonna go to Brookshire's, which is next door, and it's a grocery store. And to this week is their buy one get stuff for a penny. And they have pretty good things like uh, you can get the pork roast, you can get skinless boneless chicken breast, you can get uh, boneless round rump roast, all of that is buy one and get one for a penny. Yes, they do mark it up just a tad, but it's still cheaper in the long run and it's better quality than Walmart because they have, they do all of their own um, butchering and uh, it didn't just come in on a truck like Walmart does. So I like their meat quality much, much better. So we're gonna go to Brookshire's and we're gonna see what we can get. Okay, I got my bargains there at Brookshire's. I got some pork chops and some cheese and some chips and some roast. Um, and some avocados, the really, really, really big ones. Um, everything I got was buy one, get one for a penny. So now on to Walmart, my last resort. Go to Walmart to get the stuff that I can't get anywhere else. So, all right. Well, I'm glad y'all came along with me today and enjoyed all my shopping places. And, um, we'll see you next time. Bye.